you know, here lately I was checking out some sources and um, clutch points and a few other ones that I always usually check out and reading L.A. Times and a few others. I was reading about Rising Star, you know, Bones Highland speaking out about the altercation he had with Mason Plumbly, which, you know, I'm glad he came out and said that because he had some interesting comments, but it was also very much needed because they need to put that behind them because they have bigger things in front of them. And, you know, uh, hearing that from him, you know, definitely sounded great and um, it definitely let me know that things can, you know, mend and, you know, they're definitely going to move forward. But before we get into everything, please like, subscribe, also hit the notification bell as well. Now, uh, like I said, I was reading my sources and, you know, Bones pretty much speaks about the situation. He said it was more of a situation of competitive fires, you know, going at each other. And it was all about a, a play on defense, I believe, where, you know, they, uh, they they missed a rotation or, you know, uh, somebody missed an assignment on defense. There was some lagging there and it came back to bite him and the team scored. And it was just a, you know, a miscommunication and a miscommunication of words and just the whole thing. It just wasn't, you know, something that the, you, see, you see a Clippers team usually do. I mean, they're pretty much always together and they're pretty much always solid. And I feel like, you know. I'm glad that this situation, you know, got mended or ceased because I don't want to see, you know, things like this happening with a team was trying to win a championship because you need to be together more so now than any other time. You're missing one of your star players. You, you got to hope that Kawhi Leonard can hold up and don't get too tired out and can carry and lead y'all at least until possibly Paul George can get back. And, you know, it can take a load off Kawhi. And you got to hope that Russell Westbrook plays his his part and not hurt you too much with turnovers. And you got to hope you as the second unit and the rest of the Clippers depth, everybody else on there, Bones Highland, Mason Plumley, all of them can step up in Paul George's absence and, you know, put up you know, a decent amount of points so you can win and play very, very good on the defensive end so you can find yourself in, in in a better situation or increasing your chances of winning if you play better defense than what the Phoenix Suns will play. Now, I think the Suns will play a little defense, but of course, the Clippers defense has to be spot on. It has to be a lot better. And I think it's going to start with everybody, not just one person. Kawhi is going to, you know, do his thing and all that, but you don't want to tire him out too much, you know, but even still, I know it's the playoff but he's just he's by himself you know it's not like you know and it's not like everybody knows when Paul George is coming back we have to sit here and assume we don't know when Paul George will come back and if he will even come back you know what I'm saying you assume that he will but there's no guarantee because he's not even remotely close to where they thought he might be by now and you know it might be a setback somewhere in there I hope that's not the case but if it is Kawhi has to go and battle by himself and you know you know hopefully he doesn't get tired or worn down too much but I mean, hey, Kawhi's going to give it a shot. And if he has backup and help, I think they'll be just fine. Now, Norman Powell, if he can keep scoring the way he's been scoring, I think the Clippers will be fine because, I mean, offensively they'll be fine anyway. But they got to definitely play collectively on the defensive end. They really want to stop the Phoenix Suns and put themselves in position and go into the next round. And then hearing Bones Highland speak about the altercation, you know, between him and Plumley. Him and Plumley are cool now. Everything is mended. Ty Lu, um confirmed that along with Bones and Mason Plumley. So I'm I mean, hopefully the Clippers can put that behind them and look forward in what's in front of them because what's in front of you is a juggernaut team that you're going to have to find a way to beat that nobody in the world believes that you can beat, especially not without the services of Paul George and Kawhi on the floor at the same time. So, I mean, with that being said, I mean, I personally, as I said before, I don't ever count Kawhi Leonard out. Kawhi Leonard is a champion for a reason. Kawhi is one of those players who can, you know, affect the game in so many ways when he's really, really locked in so I just hope he has the energy and the health to stay up to be able to do so and as far as the rest of the Clippers you got to back him up whatever he needs you know you got to put the ball in his hands and let him operate because you know it's going to be you know a lot of tough matchups and it's going to be a lot of switching and you know you're going to see a lot of offensive firepower on Phoenix's end and you can't get discouraged if you're the Clippers if the, if the three-point shot is not falling so I mean Bones Highland when he comes in I'm gonna need him to be productive I'm gonna need him to be the blur that he is and blow past defenders get to the rim Mason Plumlee's gonna have to be a hell of a rebounding 
get some extra offensive rebounds. Him and Zubak are really going to have to work in there and really, you know, bother the Phoenix Suns in ways where, you know, I think the Clippers can exploit the, 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 the matchup. Because as I said before, in previous videos before, you know, when Zubak plays right, when Zubak plays well, the Clippers really do, they, 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 they they're really great. They're in a position to win every single time when Zubak gives them a double double and plays well because it's like he's the big man that they need in the paint they can throw the ball into and let him get his own score on his own and on top of that you know he cuts and rolls to the basket very well off of Kawhi and PG you know pick and rolls especially Kawhi pick and rolls he cuts off the basket he cuts to the basket very well Kawhi always finds him and he's always a big buy in the paint and the one thing I like about Mason Plumlee as a backup he definitely gives them you know that reassurance of toughness and getting extra rebounds and he can pass to be a big man himself he's a little versatile more than what people think and I feel like you know the big man situation can be a problem for the Phoenix Suns if the Clippers go big and Zubac goes in there and starts dominating DeAndre Ayton and getting his head and then it might make the Phoenix Suns back up a little bit in regards to their decision on how they're going to attack the Clippers so I mean it's a lot of you know little areas where the Clippers can utilize but I think you know Bones and um, you know of course you know this this Mason Plumlee situation is is good that they put in behind them it's good that they're trying to focus on what the task is at hand and it's good to hear because we don't need to hear that especially with a team trying to win a championship and we don't need no more dis, you know disturbances or disruptions with the clippers more than what we already have so um it's time now the playoffs is here you got to do your best you got to be at your best and you got to hurry, hurry up and try to build this chemistry as quickly as you can as you go through your journey of the playoffs and um going through the journey having altercations like that is not what the clippers want so i'm glad they put it behind them i'm glad they're ready to move forward and um as i said before i'm glad they're ready to just you know jump into this series and do what they gotta do because i feel like the clippers don't feel like they're slighted they're not scared of the phoenix suns Kawhi is definitely not scared of kd um nobody's scared of that team so it's like you know i think the, comp the, the competitive fire is there and you know one little thing i remember uh when Kawhi was interviewing after the game they beat the sun sunday i heard chris paul come up there and say see you in a couple days and i feel like that definitely fired Kawhi up a little bit right there and I definitely think it's going to give him a little bit more motivation to come in there next Sunday or Saturday whenever they play and go out there and represent the Clippers the right way and go out there and dominate so I can't wait to see it and um, I can't wait to see how it turns out but hopefully everything around the Clippers camp is good everybody's mended hopefully Paul George gets back soon and hopefully they can maybe make a run for a championship